Dad suffered. He was left unbathed and unfed. Money was whittled out of his bank account. Smokes were stolen. He was collateral damage in an inexplicable family vendetta. For three months, during the final five months of his life, he was denied consistent medical care, supervision and pain management. His mobile phone was strictly controlled. Our access to our father was blocked. And the tribunal's repeated orders that my sister and I had the full legal authority to make decisions about Dad's personal health and medical care, his living arrangements, his financial and legal affairs were ignored and breached over and over and over. A domestic violence application was filed against me in another failed bid to deny me contact with my father. And when I attempted to take Dad to the doctor, it was me who was charged with the crime. And in my hometown, the local paparazzo got the tip off of his career. A 60 Minutes reporter charged with assault headlined around the country from Cooktown to Perth. Dad passed away secure in his daughter's love and we in his. And now, at last, we're free to grieve his absence in our lives, unburdened from conflict and abusive legal processes. But along the way, I've learned that the Queensland Civil and Administrative Tribunal doesn't require parties to confidential guardianship matters to submit evidence under oath. You can lie your head off, say whatever the heck you like, and ignore their orders with impunity. I've observed that people who shout, bully, threaten, lie, can initiate a vindictive criminal prosecution only for police to then offer no evidence for the charge. And I have truly despaired at the inadequacy or inability of authorities and institutions to recognise elder abuse in the absence of bruises or blood. The system's so full of holes that elderly people are left vulnerable, exposed and diminished. With time, all of the lies and vitriol and nastiness that swirled around my family and I for so long will fade away. But some memories are just stubborn and haunting. Words were once uttered that are difficult to forget and which will forever signify the lack of dignity and respect that my dad was subjected to by people at a guardianship system that failed him.